boys and girls. Would you like to hear a story about a little girl who wished every day could be Christmas? Let's see if I can find that book. Oh, here it is. The Everyday Christmas. A little girl with yellow red curls climbed into her daddy's lap after dinner and asked him to tell her a bedtime story, just as he did every night. Though her dad was a very busy man, sharing a bedtime story with his little girl was very important to him. So he offered her a story about the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. That one scares me, the little girl said. So dad suggested he tell the one about her favorite doll and the silly tea party. No, daddy, you told that one last night. Could you tell one about Christmas? It's past Thanksgiving already and mama says Christmas is coming soon and I can hardly wait. I wish it could be Christmas every single day. As a matter of fact, her father said, I know a story about a little girl who wished that every day was Christmas. How's that sound? The little girl grinned and snuggled against her dad's shoulder to listen. And this is the story her father told. Once upon a time, because of course all good stories must begin with once upon a time, there was a little girl named Abigail who began writing letters to Santa even before the dishes from Thanksgiving dinner had been washed and put away. She asked him for a doll and a game and a book and a new potty dress, but most of all she wrote she hoped Santa would grant her wish to make every day Christmas Day for a whole year. She didn't tell anyone but Santa about her special request, but as Christmas approached, it was all she could think about. Would Santa grant her wish? And what a wonderful surprise it would be for everyone if he did. On Christmas Eve, Abby and her big brother Aaron went to bed early so Santa could visit. She thought she'd never be able to fall asleep. She was so excited. But before she even knew it, she woke up and it was Christmas morning. Her family's stockings were filled with treats and toys, and beneath the tree she found a new doll, a game, a book, a new dress, and even more treasures. But as happy as she was with all her presents, she couldn't help wondering how she'd know if Santa had also heard her secret wish for Christmas every day. By bedtime that night, She'd had so much fun and played so hard and eaten so much cake and candy, Abby could hardly stay awake through dinner. When her daddy carried her up to bed, she'd completely forgotten about her secret request. The next morning, Abby woke up anxious to play again with her new toys and try on her new dress. But before she even sat up in bed, she heard Aaron hollering her name. Abby, Abby, he said, come see, Santa came. But it was Christmas yesterday, Abby said. Silly Abby, Aaron said, today is Christmas. Now come down here so we can open our presents. And again, the stockings were full and there were gifts under the tree and Abby ate too much candy and played with her new toys. But it wasn't quite as much fun the second time around. Abby told herself she was such a lucky girl because Santa had given her the best present of all, Christmas every day. But by the fourth and fifth morning of waking up to Christmas all over again, Abby began to wonder what she'd done. Presents hardly opened were now stacked up all around the living room, and piles of torn gift wrap littered every corner of the house. It was not time to play with her new toys or read her new books or play any of her new games because she and Aaron and mom and dad were all too busy opening more gifts and cooking more Christmas dinners and hurrying to bed so Santa could come yet again tomorrow. Everyone grew very tired and rather grumpy. 
They were tired of cake and pie and candy. Aaron said he'd never wanted to see another Christmas ham. As the days and weeks of Christmas passed, Abby's mother began stacking gifts in the hallways and the attic, and the garage was full to the rafters with rumpled wrappings and discarded bows. And Abby began to wonder what would happen to all the other special days in the year if every single day was going to be Christmas. Would there be candy hearts and pretty cars on Valentine's Day? She didn't see how there would be enough time or why anyone would care about more paper or candy. Would the Easter Bunny ever come again? Would there still be a parade and fireworks on the 4th of July? Would she and Aaron ever be able to dress up again and go trick-or-treating for Halloween? Would her family ever go to Grandma's house again for Thanksgiving dinner? Probably not, Abby decided, and she began to cry at the thought of all the wonderful things she and Aaron would miss because of her wish that every day be Christmas. If my letter to Santa caused all this, she thought, then I'm the only one who can fix it. So that night, though she was very tired from another day of Christmas, she determined to stay awake and wait for Santa. After everyone else was sound asleep, Abby snuck downstairs and hid near the tree, behind her daddy's giant chair. And though it was very hard to keep her eyes open, eventually she heard a rumple up on the roof and saw a cloud of soot puff from the fireplace. And lo and behold, there he was. Santa Claus was standing right in her living room, looking down at Abby with a bit of a frown. It took Abby a minute to find the words she practiced over and over while she waited. But finally she found her tongue and her courage and stood up close to old Saint Nick and spoke. Santa, she said, I know I asked for every day to be Christmas. It seemed like a grand idea at the time, but now I think I understand. Christmas is a very special day when it only comes once a year like Thanksgiving dinner at Grandma's house and hunting for eggs on Easter morning and the fireworks on the 4th of July. But if any of those wonderful things happened every single day, hey, they just wouldn't be special anymore. So I'm not sure if it's possible to write you a new letter now, but if I still can, sir, all I really want for Christmas is for Christmas Day to be as special as it used to be. Santa, if I could have just one gift on my list, it would be to have Christmas come just once a year. A grin slowly spread across Santa's face, and he reached down and lifted Abby up so she could place her new gift into all the stockings hung by the fire. And suddenly the decorated tree and the lights and all the other Christmas decorations began to fade away and Abby felt very, very tired. And as she drifted off to sleep, she heard Santa whisper in her ear, Merry Christmas, little Abigail. See you next year. And the little girl with the yellow-red curls lifted her head and smiled up at her father as he carried her up, to the, up the stairs to bed. Christmas is special, isn't it, Daddy, she said as he gently laid her head on their pillow and tucked her into bed. Yes, indeed, it is, little Abigail, he said as he kissed her good night. Sleep well and Merry Christmas. <laughs>